Welcome back to OWF11. Uh, you're on Italian TV. We're here with uh, Nils Brockman, uh, Sue's uh, CEO. Welcome, Nils. Thank you. Nice to have you here. So, uh, Linux has been created 20 years ago. It's, it's, uh, it, it would be nice to talk about the evolution of, of Linux in general yes. throughout this time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 20 years is, is a long time. Uh, and during that time, actually, uh, 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 Linux went a long way. So, it came from, from being promising it's now actually pervasive uh, in a way, right? So, and I think many people don't realize that on a daily basis, they actually rely on services uh, that, that work on, on Linux, right? So if you think about the web, if you think about Amazon, Google, Facebook, then the underlying uh, platform to run all of those uh, uh, solutions is actually Linux. So uh, ev everybody these days, everywhere, uh, uses Linux and, and doesn't recognize that. So that, that's the web, and that's maybe obvious for many people, but then even in your daily life, uh, Linux is everywhere. Um, so if you think about uh, air traffic control, if you, if you uh, take a plane of one of the major airlines, if you travel by railway, uh, uh, you would be surprised that uh, many of those uh, organizations, companies, are actually um, running their, their operations, their businesses on Linux. So we, we all, on a, on a daily basis, rely on Linux, uh, and many people are not aware of that. Okay. Yes, and Linux uh, shoes is synonymous with uh, Linux. So, what have been the successes of shoes this yeah. time? So, actually, uh, uh, Linux is celebrating its 20th year of anniversary, and um, and Suze is doing the same. Actually, so just six months later, right? So, we are uh, we are proud of having a long history of developing uh, Linux, uh, developing the kernel. Uh, uh, supporting Linux uh, almost since 20 years ourselves as well, right? So, um, so we also came a long way um, during those 20 years. We are now uh, the second largest uh, manufacturer, uh, producer of, of uh, Linux operating systems, um, and uh, um, yeah, we have we have, we have a big uh, we have a big market share in that area, um, and we have many customers in that area. Uh, we have a very uh, solid solution developed over those years. So we have participated all the way with Linux uh, to the growth as a company uh, as well. I would say ultimately. Well, I mean, being the second largest Linux distributor is definitely not one an easy thing to do. So I guess you guys have gone through a lot of challenges in the past. But what would you say are some of the challenges lying ahead for SUS? Well, I think we have many opportunities. Uh, first of all, you probably heard about the fact that uh, Unix is on a steady decline. So there's predictions by IDC, other market researchers, that uh, Linux is on a, on a steady slope of decline, becoming a, a less and less uh, meaningful. And uh, in, in, in many cases, um, companies will decide to move their workloads from, uh, from Unix to Linux. So they're looking for Linux enterprise solutions, uh, scalable, uh, performing, secure, uh, open, right? Uh, be able to play in a heterogeneous environment and uh, supported by good service and support to move those workloads from Unix to Linux. So for us, it's a huge opportunity. It's more a challenge for Unix uh, and, and more an opportunity for Linux. So we, we definitely see that trend of the Unix to Linux migration uh, accelerating, and we are in a good position with our enterprise Linux solution to take advantage of that. Um, that's one thing. Then, well, everybody's talking about clouds, and obviously we're talking about uh, Linux in the context of uh, uh, um, enterprise customers and also they are thinking about moving their data centers steadily into the cloud right so the, to virtual data centers and then off to the private cloud and uh, many of those customers tell us look while we're doing that we are looking for for solutions to manage their uh, cloud infrastructure private cloud infrastructure and uh, also there they would like to have open source solutions uh, it's about the freedom of choice it's about openness it's about uh, the the power of the community it's about the uh, total cost of ownership and customers say look all the things that we that we took benefit uh, uh, of in the past we would like to see uh, in the cloud as well so they're looking for open source cloud infrastructure solutions and that means we are right there so we are supporting them today in their data center we already today have uh, uh, solutions that help them to take workloads into the cloud, uh, create an application, uh, like, like a virtual application, and deploy it to the cloud. 
we have solutions to manage their, their server installations, uh, Linux server installations, which will also be very important in the private cloud. Uh, there's uh, topics like uh, high availability, uh, uh, storage, uh, distributed scalable storage. These are topics that will become even more important in the, cl in the cloud, but are already today important in, in the data center of enterprise customers. So we already today have solutions that we can uh, evolve uh, also into the, to the uh, public cloud, sorry, in the, into the private cloud, excuse me. So ultimately for us, that's a huge opportunity. Linux will become the dominant platform in the cloud. Uh, customers will look to embrace the private cloud. Customers will look for open source solutions uh, to manage the infrastructure of their, uh, of their uh, uh, private cloud. We have a lot of history in that area. We have, have already technology in that area. We will evolve our solution set and then again be with our customers. While they evolve, we will evolve with them, I would say. So the strategy is to be all forward with cloud. Cloud infrastructure, yes, correct. Well, thank you very much for being with us, Nils. Hope you'll right. enjoy the rest of OWF. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. See you soon on Italian TV.